standing at Expo West, possibly the biggest natural products show in the world, yes. with products on the shelves, and a lot of those are probiotics because it's such a popular category right now. So can you walk through just a couple of steps that a consumer can use to choose the right probiotic? Sure. With so many probiotics to choose from, I often get the question, like, what do I do with that? You know, I, I want to get in. How, how do I do it? You really want to know, first and foremost, why am I taking this probiotic? What am I trying to achieve with it so that you can choose effectively? The next thing to look for is look for on the bottle a few little key indicators so that you can start assessing the quality, which we'll get to in a minute. Number one, you want to look for the CFUs, which are colony forming units. You don't need to know, you know what the acronym stands for, even though now you do. What that references is how many of those microorganisms of that strain of bacteria uh, of the probiotic are in the bottle. A second indicator there in that same kind of category is look for GMP. That means good manufacturing practices. That is an assurance as well as an indicator that certain steps have been made to assure the safety, the quality, the purity of that product. Finally and most importantly, you want, really want to find a brand you can trust, one that is high quality. For example, now brand with their wide variety of supplements, including probiotics, do a lot of internal testing. They have their own scientific team, laboratory, they do third party testing, and they really vet the strains that they're working with in the medical literature, so they're clinically validated. What makes Now Foods different from other manufacturers is uh, first and foremost, we do in-house testing, and that is very important because we verify the potency of the probiotics, the raw materials that we're getting. At the same time, we were able to test at different levels of the process. So from raw materials to mixes to finished product. We have an instrumentation that can actually um, detect certain fragments of the DNA of, of certain strains that we use and identify them based on DNA testing. So we've talked about testing probiotic product, both suppliers and then also finished product. Why is all of this process important? Why do you go through all of the steps to test everything coming in the door and everything leaving? That's the biggest goal of this laboratory. That's the biggest goal of our company is to make sure that we, we sell the best product that we could to our customers.